coming live from Minnesota with the JW Solar USA. Today we're going to do the part three of the two-year energy smart meter and it has been installed. Sorry I didn't bring it to the install but uh, um, I don't want to do too much, a long video on this. I just want to do a short video. I'm going to be showing how everything is working and it's already installed and Wi-Fi is already configured. I suppose is supposed to be working right now. So let me show you what I did. But so far, so good. This is what I already implemented or already uh, suggested or already created. So let's check it out. So I installed the meter right here because this meter is not too high as the breakers here. You can see. So what I did, I incorporated into the DIN rail. It's on the DIN rail. And uh, everything seems to look good on the DIN rail. But the only thing is not that high enough to uh, um, to stick out so that it can able to um, look like any of the breakers. And uh, the other thing, again, I'm not going to snap these, uh, these things here because it's not going to pop out like how these breakers popped. You can see. So... That's why I'm going to create that box. It's a temporal fix because you guys are anxious to see how this meter is running. And that's what I did. And what we're going to do right now, the inverter is on a search mode. And um, I'm going to turn, change the configuration here because I set it for uh, 50 watts. It has to say 50 watts. And before it gets out on a search mode, it has to see a load of 50 watts. So let's dial this thing all the way down to off. Because right now all the loads are rest, everything is resting. So put on search mode, and now you can see the inverter is inverting. So let's come here. Okay, let's come here and turn the breaker for the AC, which is here. Take a look. All right, it powered up. It's gonna see the blue light flashing to find the 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 Wi-Fi or Bluetooth connectivity which I cannot able to show you right now due to um, I'm using the phone to video and I just want to show you is there so if I turn on the Wi-Fi on my phone this thing supposed to be syncing okay and the blue lights gonna be flashing but right now it's gonna tell you how many what's the power this is gonna act like an electric meter so it's going to read everything that is taken out from the power. You see 118 volt. Right now it's looking for uh, searching for Wi-Fi connectivity. And after that, it's going to connect to the app and it's going to start up. It's going to be up and running. Right now it's running and I want to see, uh, make sure the loads are activated. Then we can see how much power we pull in from the inverter. That if it's gonna read it with uh, pushing. All right, guys, the loads already activated, and let's see what's going on here. You can see is the the meter, the counter. You can see, and let's go about checking. Suppose we give it like a digit. And that's another thing, not recorded. It's I is a resistance, which is the current is a 1.59 amps. It's pulling the chest freezer is running right now. So let's go here. That's they go like the U, but it's, it's supposed to be like the volt. The volt is 122.4 volt, 0.3.4. And here is the power. I suppose it's taking uh, which is the watt with a hundred and seventy four point something watt I suppose or maybe this is the this is the watt so I have to check on the little man it doesn't come with much manual but because that freezer can only put about 73 76 watt so here is the power factor and here is the uh, frequency, 60 hertz. So 
Pretty soon we're going to be counting here how many kilowatt hours we already pulled from the system. So stay tuned. I think it's working. I'm trying to get the uh, refrigerator to turn on. So let's go try some heavy load. Alright guys, we figured it out. The I see that is the resistance which is the current. And we're pulling 13 amps. I have my tea kettle, the freezer, the fridge is running. So this is the volt. It says you here. It's 121.5. You can hear the background. The, uh, the tea kettle is running. So the P, I was right, is the power, which is the watt. So it's pulling uh, 15, 1600, 1600, and uh, 670, something like that. So this one here, I don't even know what it is. And here, like I said, the power factor, point one point zero. And this is the frequency here, 59.99, so it's going to change to uh, 60 hertz. So look at that. We just made the first digits. So 0 0.1 kilowatt hour. Our meter started counting how much power we already generated or we already took from the inverter. So um, it's counting. As we go, we're going to learn about these things. So we pull in 13 amps. So just remember the I is the current, like always on electricity. And U, which is supposed to be the V, is the volt, 121.4 volt AC. And P is the power, which is the watt. It's 1,690. 1,690, the fridge, the freezer, the tea kettle. Is pulling that much power here I don't know what it is and here is the power factor 0 0.1.00 and here is the frequency okay which is the, the hurt all right so guys let's take a look quick because the ticket tool is almost getting done it's gonna pop check this out the water is already boiling it's gonna pop five four three two one boom there you go it pops look it drops see that 160 watt we are pulling right now from the inverter stay tuned since the system was reading is about uh, 13 amps we pull in, let's check it out into the uh, meter right here and see if that was right. Activating the system here. This is the DC side of it, okay? Let's see what's on the AC. 13 amps. That was accurate. 13. Look at that. Let's go here. Thirteen point one. Let's see. Thirteen point one six. Thirteen amps here, and let's see. On the DC side, is pulling seventy six amps, seventy four, and seventy four. Thirteen amps times. If you calculate thirteen times, times one twenty one. Okay, let's check the power here. 121 it says 121 volt here you go 121.8 that's right that's correct that's accurate that's accurate guys that's really accurate i'm so i'm impressed oh guys this is what i was going to tell you this meter is not made in the why this meter is accurate is made in Japan. This is Japan creativity. This ingenuity for Jap Japanese. So, Tuya is manufactured. The company is from Japan. So the Japanese created this entire um, device, and it has a lot of branches all over the world. So they end up um, 
uh, sharing some of that if you can see the Chinese are making that too because they have a they spread they have a um, headquarter in China so I was gonna say that on the other video they have a headquarter from China and uh, interact with the uh, the manufacturer a little bit on the internet the um, you got some few videos he had there too and uh, they are originated in Japan so this is a Japanese uh, technology. That's why it, it works. That's why it's accurate. And they have a headquarters in, um, I think, four, four countries. He mentioned. He said four countries. Um, so China is part of it. And the United States. And uh, somewhere in Europe. Or another one I forgot. But it's manufactured in Japan. Japan is the one that... Uh, they have a lot of devices that Tuya works with you know dimmers and everything communication they have a lot of stuff he said there's more to come so guys i just want to show you that's not a chinese made but um china china can produce that as well because they have a headquarter there in china so that's why this device i chose to buy this device because it's not chinese uh, uh manufacturer it might probably ship it from you for, for from china but it's not a, a, a Chinese uh, ingenuity, it's Japanese. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. I hope you like the video. Bye.